just about even. Mm -hmm. I can't see it either way. <laughs> I want to welcome everyone to our February 4th, 2020 Davis County Fiscal Court meeting. Uh, Commissioner Wathen, would you lead us with a prayer and the Pledge of Allegiance? <clears throat> Dear God, our Father, thank you for all the blessings that you have bestowed on this great country. Please bless all of the Davis County employees and all of their families. We ask that you protect our military, our police, and our firemen. We ask that you intervene to stop the destruction of the many families across our great country. We ask that you please give those who are combating the coronavirus the wisdom that they need so they can do whatever it takes to stop its spreading. And also, please help those that are infected to be healed. And we ask that you please give all the members of this court the wisdom and the courage to make the decisions that will always be your will. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Commissioner, thank you. Thank you for remembering those folks who are battling the coronavirus in China and those who have come home to their hometown and are sick. So, Jenny, are you ready? Yes, sir. Item one, consideration for approval, eight minutes of the January 23rd, 2020 Davis County Fiscal Court meeting. Motion approved. Second. I have a motion. Second, commissioners, you've all had a copy of the minutes in your possession for some time. Any additions, deletions, or corrections? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. B, all claims for all departments. Approved. Second. I have a motion and second. Again, commissioners, you've all had an uh, opportunity to review all the bills due and payable by Davis County Fiscal Court. Any questions of the treasurer at this time? I do have one, Jim. It doesn't have anything to do with the claims. Uh, last month, looking at our cash position, it was kind of low and we hadn't gotten any tax payments in. Could you give us a little update quickly on the uh, what we have been getting in and how many payments and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that last report that was presented pretty much shows the lowest uh, general fund balance for the year. Uh, t the property tax and related revenues start rolling in. <coughs> First payments December 10th. Second payments January 10th, which which represents about 85 to 90 percent of the total that we would receive that. Uh, to date, yeah, we received about $8 million for that, okay. which is pretty much the, what was budgeted. Pre pretty much on, on point to achieve what we budgeted. Okay, any other questions, commissioners? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Just for the audience uh, knowledge out there, it's about 78 degrees in here. Sorry that I don't have a jacket on. I'm not as tough as the other commissioners. Go ahead, Jenny. C, Resolution 4, 2020, Davis County Road Aid and Related Agreement. Motion approved. Second. I have a motion and second. Mark, are you going to, Jim, are you going to talk about it? Okay. But gentlemen, <clears throat> this is an annual agreement we enter into with the, the State Transportation Department. It's our share of the, the fifth formula fuel tax for the county road aid portion. Uh, it represents a total re revenue stream to us of $1,555,948. This agreement just says that you accept it under the terms of which it's offered, and that is it's, it's to be used for specific purposes for repair and maintenance of roads and bridges. They have to be county roads. Uh, Mr. Brasher is very well aware of what the money is eligible to be used for. Again, we do this annually. I've reviewed it. It's a standard agreement. I would recommend approval. Mark, tell us about the emergency fund. We are continuing to participate, correct? Yes, we are. And it's a standard fund. I think 118 counties out of 120 participate in it. It is uh, <clears throat> for situations that uh, do occur. Uh, most, I can't think of any that we've had in our county per se, but uh, if something catastrophic ha happens on a county road, uh, a county is eligible to uh, petition uh, Frankfurt to access of that money to. <coughs> fix whatever was catastrophic. So it's 3% of 1.5, so we put about 45,000 in and we have access, it's an insurance policy. Yes. Okay. 
Questions or comments, commissioners? Questions or comment public? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. D Resolution 3 2020, Street Lighting District for Park Haven Subdivision. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion and second. I see Mr. Johnson signaling his turn to tag in. Yes, Judge. This resolution is the method provided by state law where a developer of a subdivision in an unincorporated area of the county can set up street lights and petition the fiscal court to create a lighting district to allocate the cost. The annual cost of those lights within the subdivision will be divided by the number of parcels and placed on the respective tax bills. I reviewed it. It is in order and I would recommend approval. Question or comment? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Next item. E Resolution 5 2020 Street Lighting District for Stonecrest Subdivision. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion and second. Mr. Johnson. Uh, the same as the item before, different application. Again, I have reviewed it. It is in order and I would recommend approval. Any question or comment? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next item. F professional services contract with Trot Communications for to perform RFP development and procurement support for the county radio system. Move to approve. Second. I have a mo motion and second. Mr. Johnson. This agreement is regarding the second phase of our public safety radio system, which is procurement support. Uh, Trot has proposed a not to exceed price of $37,770 for all services in the agreement. Uh, they will draft an RFP for the trunked P25 radio project, conduct a pre-bid conference, assist in the evaluation, and handle any project management we may need during implementation. I reviewed the agreement. It is the same as the one we had before. It is in order, and I would recommend approval. Are you uh, aware of anybody that we have in, on our staff that's familiar with radio systems and could recommend a RFP to us? Paul Answer's no. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, $37,000 out of a $5 million project is a pretty cheap price to pay to make sure that, that we have somebody who are ex our people who are experts doing this. So. I appreciate all the work that you and Mr. Hendricks have done. I appreciate the work that the commissioners have done in, in meeting and having work sessions to move our way forward. And I'm very anxious to get this over because right now, if we ha end up having to borrow any money, money is very cheap. And uh, I'd like to see us move as quickly as possible. Commissioners, any question or comment? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. G award RFQ 1 2020 control replacement of courtroom audio. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion. Second. Mr. Johnson, I keep calling on him because he's he is our purchasing agent and our go-to guy, and we give him any job that we don't want to do, we give it to him. Go ahead. Yes, Judge, as you're aware, we have an issue with our audio when live streaming. We received two quotes for the provision of a digital soundboard and replacement of our amplifier for audio control, the lowest being business communication solutions in the amount of $9,095.10. This quote will also include a freehand mic, all applicable cabling, and necessary equipment racks for the replacement. I would recommend approval. Uh, Jordan, we also looked at some other things, but I think what we're going to do is take a wait and see. If, uh, would you explain, can you, I don't necessarily have to have cost to exact, but we Certainly. looked at some other things. We had looked at a fix for the audio uh, and the video. The video would upgrade to HD, run everything through an HDMI cable. However, our largest uh, problem right now is the audio on the live stream. This fixes that. We can look at the video at a later date. And that it starts, you start stepping up. The, the cost, and I forget, one of them was as much as $60,000 to to go in, and we just felt that <coughs> to show my face in HD wasn't necessary, right? No comment. Okay. <laughs> Commissioners, any question or comment? I'd have jumped right on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know I wouldn't swing back at you. <coughs> there being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. I hope all of the folks that are out there listening uh, will know that this scratchy voice will go away here pretty soon. Next item. H. Annual Davis County Playground Association Lease and Concession Agreements. 
Move to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second. Mr. Lee, our Parks Director. And Judge, these agreements are on an annual basis. Uh, they're essentially for the use of about, uh, for about 200 recreational uh, local sport teams, including the soccer, baseball, and softball programs. Uh, we also include the agreement with the uh, Davis County uh, Babe Ruth Association for the operation of the concession stands at Panther Creek Park. Uh, those have been reviewed by our county attorney, Claude Porter, and I would recommend approval. Commissioners, question or comment? These are standard, haven't changed, a uh, little bit of update, a little bit of verbiage, but really nothing. So I, I think it's pretty cool that, that we do that to provide a venue for all these kids uh, outside the corporate limits of the city to play. If there's no other question or comment, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Oppose. Motion carries. I appoint Jim West, Gary Murphy, and Mark Irby to the Davis County Solid uh, Davis County Solid Waste Environment and Education Panel Board, Term One One Twenty to One One Twenty Three. Motion to approve. Second. second. I have a motion and second, Judy. I dare say that probably two out of the four of us up here would have been able to read that one. Um, I want to thank Jim and, and Gary and Mark. They've served on this committee in the past. They've done a good job and I'm sure they'll do a good job going forward. Any question or comment? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Oppose. Motion carries. J. Second reading of KOC A96.2 2020 budget amendment number two. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second. Mr. Hendricks, in your absence last time, I kind of explained it, so why don't you do it the correct way? This is the second budget amendment for this fiscal year. This particular one is just to report a grant that we had received after we had filed the budget. Uh, we must, any kind of grant or contract revenues that we get, we must file an, an amendment to do. So there's a $75,000 grant from FEMA that will be used by a grad to update a hazard mitigation plan that they do. I think it's referred to as a five-year plan. Uh, we've had meetings to discuss with them how, how that, that is going to work. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. So there'll be an additional revenue of 75,000 and also the additional expense of the same number. This is the second reading. I recommend approval. And all we're really doing is acting as a pass-through. We The money sent we're the, to us. We're the fiscal agent. That's, That's correct. Right. Okay. Any question or comment? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Two, consideration for discussion. A, other business to be brought before the Davis County Fiscal Court. I know of no. We are records intact. B, public comments. This is time during a meeting in which we invite the public to come forward, identify yourself at the podium, and you're welcome to speak on anything other than what was on the agenda. I have no takers. Next comments, item. Comments by Davis Fiscal Court. Uh, Commissioner Castland. Pass. Commissioner Wathen. Pass. Commissioner Coger. Pass. Uh, just a couple things. We're several of us will be in Lexington for the Judge Executives Conference over the next couple of days. Uh, Charlie, I think you're hanging back, so you've got to command. Call Charlie if you got any problems. Uh, back in April of 2015, man, it seems a long time ago, we were informed that the plants at Cedar Hills and Friendly Village had been abandoned or were being abandoned. This put our residents, their homes at risk if there was a catastrophic failure. Uh, we work with the Regional Water Resource Agency. I want to say thanks to Joe Shepherds and Dean Binky and that board, the State Department for Local Government, uh, Sandy Dunna, who was commissioner, and grad Joanna Shake in particular, they to find a permanent solution to bring these homes into the RWRA system, take them out of peril. In October, Friendly Village was connected to RWRA. And at the, toward the end of January, Cedar Hills was connected to RWRA. So we're proud that the, the two treatment plants are completed. Uh, I talked to Joe today and I said, would you have ever guessed we could have got it all done in five years? And he said, I predicted that. And I thought, yeah, give an engineer an opening. Uh, it's, express, it's especially impressive 
when you think about all the bureaucracy that you have to go through, not just state, but the Fed, the EPA, and everything, from notification to Public Service Commission to receivership to construction, and it was all completed in less than five years. So that's why grad RWRA and the fiscal court won the Unbridled Spirit Award for Kentucky, and we <coughs> awarded that at the CACO conference this past year. I, um, I can't say how pleased I am that we were able to assist <coughs> those folks because when that announcement was made, you could see their shoulders slumped because, again, and I've said it before, arguably their homes the largest asset that they had and the thought of coming home and having a placard on your door that says uninhabitable no sanitary facilities would have been devastating to those folks so rwra thank you all the people commissioners you guys because you stood shoulder to shoulder as we push forward claude thank you uh and my staff thank you particularly david smith uh, David and I stood at that whiteboard every day for six months trying to, and you know, we were pretty close with the final outcome. So I wanted to let you know that. Claude, I know that uh, you had been in contact with our folks on the Second Amendment with their attorney. I don't know if, if where that stands now. I have not heard any more, Judge. Uh, are you waiting for them to get back with if you? If they're going to send okay. anything. I, well, I told them what I thought the sense of the court was, okay. so I don't know if they plan to provide anything else. I may okay. try to reach out to him and if see. If you would, uh, is it Mr. Bowers? Yes, okay. Judge, Would you is. just check with him and, okay. and see? I mean, we don't want to leave this hanging. We want right. to respond to the to the folks out there. So, uh, But anyway, just, just let us know. I'll do that. If there's no other business to be brought for Davis County Fiscal Court without exception, we're adjourned.